talking <coughs> good morning class 10 talking about plateaus last day i told you that the plateau is divided into central eastern and tekken so today starting with the central highland this region that lies in the south of the great plains so if it is the great plains this is the south of great plain northern india it extends from here aravalli in the west the rajmahal in the east okay the southern boundary is limited by the bindya satpuras mahadeva mahakal and kaimur range the aravalli range here is the oldest mountain of india it is most remarkably sorry remarkable range of central highlands at guru shikhar that is in mount abu the aravalli reaches mount aravalli reaches its high elevation the narmada shikhar sorry the narmada valley in the south of the chambal valley and the son valley in the north of typical landscape valley in the south of chambal valley and the son valley of the north typical landscape the malwa plateau and the bundel bundelkhand and the reva plateaus constitute the north 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 eastern and eastern part of central highland now talking about eastern highland here we know it is chota nagpur plateau part it is the highest part parasnath hill is the highest hill in this region the rajmahals forms the north north eastern boundary to the great pat region of the here the rachi plateau south of which lies the grajat hill range region the bhagalkhand plateau and the chatisgarh plain which lies in the east and south of chota nagpur plateau and farther south in the dandakariana hill li region the mahanadi basin here the mahanadi basin occupies the region farther south the meghalaya plateau lies as in the continuation of this plateau peninsula plateau in the east so shillong peak is the highest peak of this central highland okay